Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to complain about quoted papers during reviews. Um, and if you are a fountain pen user, you know how paper influences the way um, your nib behaves, the way the ink behaves, and your whole like writing experience. That is why today I want to talk about a few types of paper. I've uh, gathered like six notebooks um, that I want to show you, some swabs in, uh, and I might scribble in them a little bit. Um, and I'm doing this because paper to me is like really personal. Uh, there's people who love Rhodia, uh, which is a coated paper. Um, and there's others who only uh, use Tomoe River. Um, and I want to show you uh, the elements that make people like those papers. Um, and I will give you my personal opinion. There's actually a notebook in here that I have not used. It's Apica Premium. It's a CD notebook. Um, I have done the swabs in this, but I haven't really written in this. So this will be an interesting experience for me too. It's supposedly super smooth paper. Um, so I have this, I have a Hipponoto, which is a 68 GSM Tomoe River notebook. Used to use this as a journal, it's now mostly a swab slash pen test notebook. Um, so yeah, Rhodia pad, um, use it for letter writing and um, ink swabs when I'm uh, comparing uh, how an ink behaves on Tomoe and on Rhodia because those are really like the mainstays in the fountain pen world. Um, I have a Leuchtturm here. This color is atrocious. I don't know why I bought it. Um, this color is great. Um, so I did some swabs in here. I like Leuchtturm. Um, it is not coated. It does not show, show sheen amazingly. Um, it sometimes bleeds through but it just feels so good with pens. I love it. Then here, I have a Nanami 7Cs Crossfield, which is my current journal. Um, I did some swabs in the back. 52 GSM Tomoe River. And then one that is basically the cheapest one here, if you don't count the Rhodia pad, and if we're talking about notebooks, this is the cheapest one. This is a black and red notebook, which is optic paper. Um, and I thought optic paper was mostly made by Claire Fontaine, but this paper is different than Claire Fontaine paper, in my opinion. It is better. So I don't know what the difference there is, um, but it's pretty great. This was, let's go through the prices. This was about $10 for a notebook. Um, it has 70 sheets of paper. This was about $30. It has 480 pages. Um, Leuchtturm, about $20, 256 pages. Um, yeah, this is like $4. The notebook is 20 and I believe it has ooh, 190 pages. Yes, I'm sure of that. Hipponoto, I, I had to look this up because I've had this for a while. I believe $45. Um, around 500 pages, 450, 480, um, pretty decent. The Apica Premium um, was 14-ish dollars and it has a 96 sheets. So those are the prices. None are really cheap. These are all quite expensive. You can get optic paper for cheap, um, but it's not black and red optic paper, so yeah. Okay, let's change the shot and go look at the paper and the ink swabs that I made. All right, here I am with a notebook that I know least about and that I've never actually filled a notebook of and that is the CD notebook, Apica Premium CD notebook. Um, this is known for its very smooth paper and I don't mind smooth papers, I'm okay with them. Um, I don't like coated papers, but coated is different than smooth. Um, I haven't actually written very much in this, so I, I'll do a writing sample in this as well as show you the swabs. So I have three inks right here. This is Iroshizuku Momiji, this is Twisby Midnight Blue, and this is Krishna ink, uh, brown pink. I had to think about that one. Um, and these inks 
they look decent. Um, I felt they looked a little washed out on this paper. Uh, I compared them to the Rhodia and it's not very noticeable. It's just here, it's just slightly more um, muted than on the white Rhodia paper. Anyway, smooth paper. Um, I did scribble on this side. As you can see, it bled through uh, with the swabs. That is not unusual. Like, there's a lot of ink on the page, uh, and you can't really expect this notebook to take that without complaint. What I always like to look at is Sheen. I'm a lover of Sheen, and these are all inks that Sheen quite well. Um, and in my opinion have a different uh, wetness level. So this Krishna ink is super dry. I don't like using Krishna inks. I love the way they look, but they're super dry. This uh, Twisby Midnight Blue is wet. Um, and the Hiroshizuku Momiji is, I would say, in between um, uh, medium and wet. So they're like kind of different, which is good. So if I want to show sheen, you can definitely see sheen on the Midnight Blue. I can see sheen on the Momiji. I don't know if this shows up on camera, but there is definitely like this golden green yellow sheen. And then normally brown pink is also a sheener. It's very hard to see. There's like a little bit of green right there, but it's extremely hard to see. So for sheen, I would not say this is the optimum notebook. Um, the paper is very smooth. Uh, I would say it is kind of like Tomoe River level smooth, but it looks like the paper just rejects ink to me. And that is different from Tomoe River. And um, it does look more muted on this paper than on, let's say, the Tomoe River journal I've been using because I've used this pen in there and um, this ink quite is quite popping on that paper, but here it... Oops, take the camera. It feels like it just goes a little muted. All in all, I think this is a good paper. It is not very expensive. It was $14 for a notebook. Um, and it is, I would say, it is fountain pen friendly, like it doesn't bleed here, it just does with the swabs. So if you like really smooth papers and you're interested in trying something new, this Apica notebook is definitely interesting. Uh, it has 96 sheets, so 40, $14, 96 sheets. Decent, works well with fountain pens. Let's move on to my least favorite of the bunch, and that is Rhodia. Rhodia is good paper for a decent price, right? I cannot say that it's not good paper. I just don't like the way it feels with my nibs. It is coated, um, not coated in the same way as the CD notebook. This one does not mute the colors as that other one does, but um, there's a certain smooth feel. It's like there's something on the paper. That's how it feels to me. So. It's very personal. Um, I, I'm okay with writing letters on Rhodia, but I don't like journaling in Rhodia. Sheen-wise, um, there's some on the Midnight Blue, but it's, it's not very noticeable at all. Uh, same for the uh, Irishizuku. Um, I like the way this looks a little more saturated on this paper, the brown pink, but again, not really sheeny. Did better with a bleed test though. As you can see, Momiji did um, go through a little bit, but the rest of them did not. So it is very ink resistant. Coated papers generally are. So that is very decent. So if you're looking for, if you're trying out papers and you're looking for a paper to write letters on or to journal in, Rhodia is a good, good shout. It's just not my favorite. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't bleed, it doesn't feather, it doesn't ghost. Um it is good. Just I don't like the coated stuff. Yeah. So this is a Leuch term. People are always a little iffy about Leuch term and I get it. Because it is not the most ink resistant paper. It definitely isn't. It's not coated, um, and it can definitely bleed. 
So I cannot use, uh, for example, Emerald of Shavor in a Luchter notebook because Emerald of Shavor is so wet, like it's insanely wet. It leaks out of pens for me because it just flows constantly. Um, and I'm talking about a shimmer-free one. I have a shimmer-free one. Um, I can do a video about it, how I did that, but it's not that interesting, I think. Anyway, so it soaks up the ink more. For me, that is good because it makes my pens feel more wet. So, um, because the, the paper soaks the ink up, it like sucks the ink out of the nib, if you know what I mean. And I don't mind that. I like that feeling. Um, it's just a really, really nice paper to write on and especially for journaling like I like just scribbling going fast on this paper and it deals very well with it what we haven't talked about actually is smearing so smearing if if a paper is coated uh, and you have a very saturated ink it's very easy if you have oily fingers to smear the ink I don't I have very dry fingers right now um, so this ink is not moving but if you have oily fingers or wet fingers and a coat of paper, ink just slides off. And if you have a paper like Leuchtturm, it does not do that as much. So if you if you tend to like move over the, the ink with your hands, uh, if you're a lefty, this paper is better for that. Um, sheen. There is sheen on the Midnight Blue. I hope it picks up. I cannot see if it does. Uh, we're working with artificial light again today. And it's not my favorite, but since it's autumn and it, it's Europe, I can't really do anything about it. There's a slight bit of sheen right at the top here of the Krishna. Not too much. Funnily enough, the Momiji, no sheen. Did not expect that, but there's literally nothing there. If we look at how this paper bled. Okay, so it bled a little bit for the Krishna and for the Iroshizuku. Um, this might be the reason that it didn't really sheen on this paper because it was soaked up by the paper. So um, sheen happens when there's a lot of ink on top of the paper not being soaked into the paper. And this all went into the paper. With normal writing, you don't ex really experience this um, except for with Emerald of Shavor. Um, but um, there is some ghosting that you have with writing. Normal writing does show some ghosting um, and some people do not like that. I don't mind it, but I'm kind of a Leuchtturm fangirl. Yeah, that's the Leuchtturm. Now we have three left and I can say um, that these three were my favorites. Let's put away my pen for a second. And that is the two Tomoe Rivers. So there's a seven seas in this. And this is the Hiponoto, which is 68 GSM. And the black and red. I'm gonna start with the 68 GSM, um, which I, I, I really like, but I prefer the, the thinner Tomoe. I like this paper because it sheens. It is not coated like Rhodia is coated, um, but ink does not get sucked into the paper. Um, and you can really see how vivid, uh, for example, Momiji is. Like it really pops off the page. And to me, that is very, very exciting. All these inks show some sheen on this paper. And again, I hope it picks up. I cannot see it. Um, and yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely paper. People tend to prefer this because this paper is not as crinkly as the 52 GSM. Um, Tomo River always makes noise, kind of. Um, it's a little thicker and that feels a little less fragile, I guess, to people, but I don't, it doesn't bother me. With the swabs, there is some show through with all of these. I don't think you guys can see the midnight blue one, but I can definitely see it. Momiji did really uh, show through. Even Krishna showed through a little bit, which is interesting. Um, so that might be because it's not coated. Um, 
but I don't really know for sure. Maybe I just, I was really royal with this swabbing. I tried to do my best to keep it all even, but who knows, I'm human after all. So, lots of sheen. Um, in normal writing, there is there is no um, show through. There is some ghosting because the paper is not very thick. Um, and yeah, it feels lovely to write on this. Also, colors are not washed out. Let us go to, so this is a good sheener, I would say. Let us go to the black and red. Um, I have not used this yet. So the thing is, I, I could not find this in like a grid format. Where did I put that? Okay. Um, and lined is not my favorite uh, format, but for this test, it was pretty good. Okay, this paper is white and it is very ink resistant. I do think this paper is coated, but this coating is not as offensive to me as the coating on Rhodia. It feels a little different um, and it's nice to write on. So I don't mind this one. Uh, actually, it might become my next journal because if you look at this, and I hope, hope, hope you can see this. This shows sheen like a monster. Like, there is a lot of sheen on this. It's on all three inks too. Like, even the Krishna's showing sheen. And I'm a big fan. So I would say this black and red notebook sheens more than the 68 GSM Tomoe River. Even though Tomoe River is known as the sheen paper. This sheens more. I love that. Like the dots, they're all like, they're all like pink, pink, yellow. It's lovely. Bleed through. That is a great result, guys. There's no bleed through on this paper. And I did put enough ink on there because it sheens like crazy. So I would say definitely coated, um, but not offensively coated which I would say Rhodia is. Um, it's funny because Rhodia is coated but doesn't show sheen um, and this does show sheen so much and like nothing there. The paper did crinkle a little bit because of the wetness of the ink um, but I don't mind that. Like no one's gonna swap in a daily life. You're gonna write on the paper. So I would say this will have no ghosting basically. You can't even see the writing on top here that I did. Lovely, lovely notebooks. These are, t I, well, I bought these um, from Amazon. They're $9-ish. I think there are cheaper versions available, um, just different formats. Not completely sure, but black and red, super affordable, super good paper. And then last, and this is my favorite type of paper. It's my current journal. It is the Nanami 7 Cs. The paper is 52 GSM Tomoe River. Let me find the swabs for you. There we have it. So this is a thin Tomoe River. And it is, it is, as you, it's, it's like Bible paper. Like really thin Bible paper. I sometimes accidentally skip a page. I did that yesterday because I, I don't realize that, um, I'm actually, um, you can't feel it, it's so thin. So anyway, Tomoe River and plenty of sheen on all the inks. I don't know why I love sheen so much. I love the way the ink is two colors. It's so magical to me. And I love looking at my journal from like the top and seeing blue and then if I look from the side it's like a red. I just enjoy it a lot. So very thin paper, not coated, but very smooth and definitely shows bleed through. So Krishna and um, Momiji did bleed through midnight blue a little bit. So this paper is so thin that I, I could not expect this not to bleed through. Um, also on like daily writing, this does ghost, as you can see. So this paper is not for people who do not like ghosting at all. 
Um, you're better off with the 62, uh, 68 GSM then, or with the black and red, because this paper will ghost as it is so thin. You can see it here too, I did a writing sample. It's just, it's just super thin. But I love it. Um, and, and as I've said, it's very personal. Um, but I hope I uh, helped you in making a choice a little bit. So all these papers, you can't really go wrong, right? So we have uh, Tomoe River, we have Leuchtturm, we have Rhodia, we have Apica, and Black and Red. You cannot go wrong. They're all good for fountain pens. It is up to you to decide whether you like a coated paper, such as the Rhodia and the Black and Red, whether you like a really uncoated, not too smooth paper like Leuchtturm, or whether you like smooth paper like Tomoe River um, that does not feel coated. It's up to you to decide. And I would just say, if you get the chance to try a bunch of things, do that. I know some stores sometimes sell paper samples. That is a good way to get to know all these kinds of papers. Um, and there's there's a bunch of people in this community who are willing to help you out with like samples of paper to see um, To give to you to see what you like um, to uh, have your favorites um, figure it out I'm still really um, In love with Tomoe River. I am happily surprised with black and red. It is it is lovely anyway I hope this was informative. It was very long. I'm sorry if it was too long, but I had a bunch of fun talking about this. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.